previously on Dead City. I help you, and no more of this dragging me back to New Babylon bullshit. When this is over, you look after Jenny for me. You're trying to go after Negan? Who do you think he's wanted for? Stealing a loaf of bread? Go, Jenny, go! Eyes up! Negan's the key to getting him back. He's on the island. I saw him. Where is he? There is absolutely no way Negan will be getting off this island. What are you doing here? How the hell did you get here? Jenny! Jenny! You know about this? No. She just turned up at the arena. Right before the walkers came You can't be here. I think she just wanted to be with you. The flare. We gotta go. You can't be here. You hear me? I can't protect you and help Maggie. There was a plan. Her and I, we come here, we get Herschel. You stay with her people where you're safe. That was the whole goddamn point. That you stay safe and you know that, Jenny. Shit. I can take her back. You finish what you started. I can take her where she needs to go. months and now you want to chat I killed your dad I'm not wanted for robbing a wagon train I killed five men, and your dad, he was one of them. That's why I tracked you down to the farm. Why I let you tag along, because I knew you had no one. You, you're just a debt that I had to pay. That's it.
Time to go. You should sleep. I can keep watch. It's all right. I'm good. Besides, he shows up. Two sets of eyes are better than one. What you did back there, that couldn't have been easy. Think the plan's gonna work? I'll say this, you were surprisingly glad to see my ass. Water under the bridge, he said. It's not like our reunion went off without a hitch, but with all our history, that brotherly bullshit, I have a feeling he and I may be able to work something out. For me, it wasn't the Statue of Liberty. It was Macy's. When I was little, after my mom got sick, I crawled into bed with her and she'd tell me stories about Santa, the real Santa. Sometimes he'd come down from the North Pole to the Macy's store in Manhattan and visit all the kids. And I used to daydream that one day I'd go to New York, walk into that Macy's, become best friends with the real Santa. He'd take all my toys that I'd lost or that had been broken, and he'd find a way to replace them.
do this. Here's what I'm thinking. The crow I never took your grain, just your kid. For collateral, sure, but he wasn't ever coming back to no harvest. You wanted me. Now for what? Who the hell knows? But whatever that crazy son of a bitch wants with me, I sure as shit ain't gonna like it. You and I both know that much. The shit thing is, Maggie, we could have done it. We could have saved Herschel. Because you and I together, we make one hell of a badass team. But you know that, don't you? Maybe some part of you always wanted it to end this way. The fact is, Maggie, it doesn't matter what excuses I give you or how many apologies I offer. You can't get over it. And you shouldn't. looked for you at the sanctuary. It was a husk, abandoned long ago, which was depressing. And after searching up and down the mainland for God knows how many months, I learned of your status. Four men and a magistrate. You, you, you. And then I found Jerome. He was not much interested in reminiscing, but he was alone and weak, and I convinced him to talk, and he told me a story that excited my curiosity. The story of the widow. 
Either way, I saw that you could help. Strong, smart, vulnerabilities to be exploited. And most of all, you needed a little push, yes, but you had your own incentives. Still, I never expected you to pull it off, but you did. You found him. You brought him home. Thomas, boy. You know, for a moment when I saw you on the catwalk, all alone, I thought to myself, lucky me, I get to have Negan and the child. Nah, it's okay. Easy now. It was like a maze full of sculptures made up of whatever they could find, I guess. But uh, I tracked them down. 
got him up against the wall, had a gun on him. He made a move to get away, and I shot him. Killed him. Got him. Got the son of a bitch. Let him finish. I want to hear the rest. Not much more to tell. Got back to my boat. Car was where I left it. Enough ethanol to get me home in one straight shot. Shame you had to shoot him, though. As a marshal, I'm licensed to administer no, justice. No, I know all about that. Just saying it would have been nice to put him on display. Make a statement. No, thank you, ma'am. How are your girls, by the way? Marjorie, B, and Desi? Don't worry, we looked out for him while you were gone. I should pay him a visit. Let him know all about their daddy's heroics. How hard he works to protect our body politic. Honey, you couldn't help yourself? You know what went into making that cigar? You see, the thing is, gotta cure the leaves at a temperature of 100 degrees. At a temperature like that. An exact temperature. Well, what's the optimal way to keep that going? Central heating. But ethanol comes from corn, which takes up thousands of acres of fields. So what I'd like you to do, Marshal, I'd like you to tell me your story again. And this time, I want you to tell me all about the methane. begin to imagine what she went through. I hope that you know I... It's fine. That's because you're brave. All I have to do back home is wait for the next bad thing to happen. If anything, I felt safer back there. You should eat something. I'm not hungry. It's not about being hungry, it's a fact. If I say I'm not hungry, it means I'm not hungry. I can hungry. only guess what they were feeding you. So what? You gonna force me to eat? No, I'm not gonna force you to eat. Whatever. Just forget it. What's this? Is it for me? It was a gift. Wow. Got me a souvenir of being kidnapped. Thanks. It's like the one you used to wear. You do what you want with it. Having you back, there are not words I can use to express how glad I am. Glad? Of course. You seemed like you cared more about. I don't know. Revenge or whatever. What are you talking about? It's like you're obsessed with, with Negan. With what he did. Getting him back. You've always Herschel, been. Herschel, I came for you. And I'm like, I'm right here. But you don't see me. It's like my whole life you've been looking over my shoulder, watching for him, waiting for him. That's not true. Well, you never see me. Whatever. Doesn't matter.
<laughs> Do you remember our second visit to the river people? The first visit was friendly, welcoming. You told them what they had to provide, and then you told them what would happen if they didn't. Hence, the second visit. You breezed right up to their leader like an actor commanding the stage like a rock star. But what is a rock star without his microphone? So, out came Lucille. Then you turned and you offered her to me. I didn't understand. I only just arrived at the sanctuary. I was nothing. I was broken. But you saw something in me. Not what I was, but what I could become. And you and me have a crack at it. <laughs> Go. I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> My first swing, I completely missed. The second time, I, I overcompensated. I pounded him with far too much force. I was lucky he was still breathing. But you didn't get upset with me. No, you took your time. You had the patience to show me how to do it right. And then once his face was just a puddle on the ground, and I looked around, and I saw what you told me I'd see. Complete and total submission. We were untouchable. No one could ever take anything from us again. You remember that? I do. It was beautiful, huh? It was. You know, it took me a long time. Years to finally understand what has happened between us. I shouldn't have killed the girl. You told me not to, and I disobeyed you. And I became the threat that needed to be handled. I promise you. That will never happen again. I've been, um, uh, 
thinking about what you said. Here for a long time, for most of my life, I felt like the world kept taking. My battles with the tribe, the rats I had to exterminate, that was practice for the war to come. Once we have full control of the island, Dharma says a clash of civilizations is inevitable. So when I told her about all the good you had done, all the people you had saved and protected, she said, you? Are the missing piece. <laughs> I never imagined. I'd find another home with someone after you. <laughs> I can't wait for you to meet her. Like mommy and daddy coming together. I take great pleasure in introducing you to Thank my... Thank you. Well, let's begin. Let's get to it. I think our guest and I should take some time to get acquainted. But I appreciate the introduction. <laughs> Of course. Of course. God. He's like a sponge. Sit. Oh, I'm good. I have a funky cramp in my leg, bugging the shit out of me. I hear brandy is good for cramps. Really? It's good for everything. Yeah, I gotta tell you, I'm more of a gin man. It's a delight to finally meet you. To find out that you are not, in fact, the product of someone's psychosis. I heard about your performance at the bank. The taunting, the joking, that extra but absolutely necessary pinch of gruesomeness shock and all and all that bravo i told you i'm a gin man Don't tell me you're spooked by the cops. 
No. It's not the cops I'm worried about. It's the forces behind them. Wherever a natural resource abounds, they'll come for it, like a sneaking, thieving pack of hyenas. The island needs leadership now more than ever. Someone with confidence, fearlessness, charisma, that special, shall we say, political talent. For what is politics, if not performance? Tell me, why would I help you? There are others. Settlements as far north as Harlem. If we can unite them under one rule, we'll be indomitable. And all of it, that can all be yours. Again. Responsible for the boy whose family he destroyed. Well, of course. He only told me this once he felt safe. And here you are, come all this way to save him. As you know, I eventually let him go in exchange for you. But I kept a little piece of him. And I can always go back for more. Make it last. We have a lot to discuss. A lot to plan for. I'm Eli Jornet, EP and showrunner of Dead City, and this is episode six, Doma Smoke.